okay, that's 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 cool. That's a really good touch. They feel nice. It's very velvety smooth. Today I am doing an unboxing and an initial uh, setup review of the Rode NTH100 headphone set. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, Rode did not send me this. I did pay for this with my own money, so any thoughts or opinions will be my own for sure, just so you know. So first impressions, the box, I mean, it's just a box, you know, but hey, it's cool looking. It's a nice slide out feature here. Okay, this is kind of cool. <laughs> oh, I like the way it unfolds like this. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Road sends it wrapped in this little package with the road emblem there. Uh, let's see what's down in the box. We got a cable, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter. Looks like it has a lock-in mechanism here and also a screw on, I guess, for the adapter. I believe... You know, I'm not sure. I think this may be a two meter cable, but I really don't know. Let's see what else we got here. All right, so here's the adapter um, to go from 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch. Uh, oh, and okay, so these, these little colored pieces clip on here, looks like, or maybe around the road logo right there, just so you can color code and match um, which headset is hooked up to what, which is pretty cool. Uh, it looks like we've got a little QR code here that we can scan uh, for questions and things like that. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's get this box out of the way. Now to look at the headset themselves. Again, comes in a very nice little carrying case. It feels good. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Little silica things to keep moisture out. We'll get this to the side and get on to the main event itself, which are the Rode headphones. They feel nice. Um, it's it's plastic, but it's like a hard, firm plastic. Um, the headband feels good. It's very it's very velvety smooth, <laughs> and it has some nice padding on the top. Um, okay, so it looks like we got a little. Oh, that's cool. All right, so there's a little twist action here, so that we can adjust the headphones where we may want to adjust them. And then it locks it back into place. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just put it back on here. Okay, that's, 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 that's cool. That's a really good touch. So on the bottom, you can plug in your 3.5 millimeter jack on either side of the headphone. That way, if you need the cable going to the right, or if you need the cable going to the left, you can plug it in to whichever side makes you feel the most comfortable or whatever feels most comfortable for you. So that's a really cool touch because I really don't like it when, you know, maybe I like it coming off the right side, but the wires come hardwired into the left side. So that's a really cool feature. The padding feels soft, as you can see. You got the R and the L for right and left. So far, I'm impressed. It feels like a nice set of headphones. That's a movement. Hopefully this shows up on camera, but I'm just going to attach the cable here. All right, so it takes a little effort to push it in, which is not a bad thing. But then once you twist it in place, okay, that's pretty cool. So you just slide it in, twist it, boom, we're locked in place. Nice little touch. I like that because it's not, not like my other headphones here where you can just accidentally catch something on the headphone. I don't know if you've ever done that, you go to stand up and the cable catches, but now that's not going to pop out like my other headphones uh, would do. Okay, so now I'm going to check the sound quality against a cheap pair of headphones. These are noise canceling headphones that I had bought, you know, a few years ago, $30. <laughs> I've not been upset with these at all. One thing I don't like, this comes out the right side and my setup's on the left, so that is a plus for the road to be able to go to the left side. However, um, I've not been disappointed with these headphones. They're actually very comfortable. They got a decent sound. They do have a lot of low end bass rumble on them, which, you know, that's okay. Um, they've been good for listening to music. I wore them on a 14 hour flight, watching the movies and listening to music and things like that. And for the most part, they were very, very comfortable wearing them. So this is how they sound. And again, they, 
sound fine to me. I'll actually, I'll link them below if you're interested in just a cheap set of headphones that are pretty comfortable to wear. Okay, so I have put the Rode headphones on for the first time. They're pretty comfortable. I gotta be honest. Um, yeah, they're, they're, I'm not gonna say they're more comfortable than the cheap headphones I had, um, but they're very lightweight. Even though they feel robust in the hand, they feel light on my head. Uh, one thing I do like, uh, so this cheap headphone, it's kind of got this leather coated pad. Um, it's very comfortable on the head, but it gets hot. Like it just doesn't seem to breathe very well. And so my, my head gets, or my ears get really hot. But so far, the ear pads on the road are very cool. Like they feel very, very cool on my head. Like. Like, I don't think my ears are going to start sweating like they normally would uh, with this, this other pair of headphones. The sound is, the sound's a lot, uh, a lot flatter. Like, it, it's a lot more neutral of a sound versus, versus the, 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 the cheap headphones. The cheap headphones, they really brought out a lot of, of bass uh, in the sound and in my voice, which, when you listen to music, it sounds pretty good, but... But when you're doing voiceover work or podcasting or talking on YouTube and you, and you just need to hear the sound of the voice, hey, I mean, it sounds good. It feels good. I like it. Um, again, Rode did not send me these headphones. I did purchase them with my own money. But uh, overall, to be honest with you, I am not, I'm not disappointed at all in this purchase. In fact, um, these are probably going to be my go-to headphones now. Um, Anytime I podcast, anytime I do any kind of video conference or uh, speaking to a mic that's going to require my headphones, um, yeah, yeah, I really, I like them. I absolutely like them. Um, highly recommend them, I would say, if you have the budget. Again, they're not cheap. Um, you know, this, I mean, as far as headphones go, they, they're not expensive either, but these headphones, 30 bucks, do a great job. We'll get what you need. They're noise canceling. They're Bluetooth. These are not. However, for like podcasting or YouTube or something where you need to monitor clean audio, yeah, I, I recommend them at a hundred dollars. You know, if you have the budget, go for it. Especially if you're thinking, should I upgrade something? I have a mic that's working well. I have a camera that's working well. What should I upgrade? You know, hey, I would highly consider. Uh, these Rode headphones, I'm not saying they're the end-all, be-all, best I've ever had, but are the best that's out there, but yeah, I, I, pretty, pretty dang good. So uh, anyway, uh, all links will be in the description, and just so you know, they are affiliate links, um, which means Amazon will pay me a commission off the sale, but the price won't be any more to you. So anyway, hope this video was informative. I will hopefully do a more in-depth review later, but this was just the initial unboxing and first impressions of the Rode NTH 100.